you and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth, or we'll sentence them to take the last step into a thousand years of darkness. We can deport violent, illegal criminals. That makes a lot of sense. I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. Obama was not the president for this system. Do you think that House Democrats and Senate Democrats should try to cooperate with Donald Trump if he tries to kick people off their health insurance? We're going to have a Youngstown street fight. The American people, they voted against Hillary. They voted against this administration. We pledge allegiance to one flag, and that flag is the American flag. Welcome to the Abolitionists' Roundtable, your all-access pass to the 2017 Red, White, and Blue Conservative Revolution. Join the conversation at 734-822-1600. Now, here are your hosts, Del Marsh, Phil Starchell, and Janice Daniels. All right, great day in America. Good morning. Thank you. Good greetings, uh, WAM listeners. Thank you for joining the Abolitionist Roundtable. Again, Happy New Year to you. Hope you haven't uh, abandoned your uh, whatever it is that you wanted to do for the new year. Uh, we want to hold on to that. Hold on to it, you know. Uh, start off with small increments or whatever it is. So if you say you want to lose, you know, five pounds, you know, just start off with small portions. But I want you to still make that commitment to whatever it is that you say you want to do for this year. Uh, greetings again. I want to say uh, that the uh, Abolitionist Round uh, Table, uh, we believe that it's going to be an awesome year. And so all of us together have to participate in, in this being an awesome year. Secondly, January, of course, you know, is our fundraising month. Uh, and so if you don't mind, I need your help. We need your help. I'm going to have to talk about this uh, uh, all, a little bit all day. If you don't mind, go on our website, uh, artofmichigan.com, uh, right to the right. There's a, 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 a donation donor. Click on that. And you can help us continue uh, uh, to be an a, a independent voice out here in, in America. And, and again, this is seven years. We've been here seven years. And so we're all celebrating together that we've been here for seven years on radio. And uh, I mean, just think about this, folks. Uh, uh, seven years we've been fighting the machine, the fighting the machine. And so now that machine has left, but there are still people in what we call the establishment on both sides. We got to fight them on both sides. And so uh, uh, now we have a, a new president. So we end the legacy. We end the, uh, the regime. One regime is out and a new regime is in. And uh, and so we have somebody now we got to remember again, he's not an ideologue. You know, he don't look at things uh, from an ideologue uh, perspective. He's looking at things from a business perspective, from an a a, a uh, from a, an accomplishment perspective. So when when he's when uh, when when Mr. Trump, President Trump set out, when he gives somebody an assignment, he's looking for them to uh, just do the assignment and just report back to him. And that's what it that's what one thing that people uh, have to look at, that this is somebody that can delegate responsibility and then also uh, uh, follow up on it. So uh, and we've seen uh, uh, over his career that uh, that uh, that that's something that, that he's he's done well and he's and he's built uh, uh, empires and businesses all around the world. His name has been involved in a lot of projects all around the world. All right. But again, if you don't mind, for some people, I got an email and, and somebody said, you know what, I noticed you mention your, your website all the time, artofmichigan.com. For some of us, uh, we don't go on the, on, the, uh, on the website. We don't go online. Can't you give us your uh, address? And absolutely, and I apologize. So I want to give you our uh, physical uh, mail an address. So if you want to mail us something, or if you want to mail us a letter, if you want to say something to Phil, say something to Mayor or myself, uh, could you send uh, all correspondence to, and plus Phil does this at the end of the show too, but it's an, I know it's a little fast, but so I'm going to start mentioning that a little bit more. It's uh, Art of Michigan. You can just, instead of the Abolitionist Roundtable uh, of Michigan, that can be a little long, but just Art of Michigan, P.O. Box 135. Garden City, Michigan, 48135, 48135. All right, so here, 
First, I want to say good morning to the mayor uh, and then say good morning to Phil. And then we're going to jump into uh, the topic today is rediscovering America's greatness, rediscovering America's greatness. Uh, you know, before I get into it, let me just quote something um, to uh, of uh, uh, Harriet Tugman. You can go to our website and you can click on About Us and it'll tell you. We have that quote on there. Harriet Tugman said, I freed a thousand slaves. I could have freed a thousand more if they knew they were slaves. And so we have people in inner cities all across this country, all across this country, that want better for themselves. They want better for them for their children. They don't want their children uh, to be on a road uh, to incarceration. They don't want their children to be on a road uh, to uh, to drugs and alcohol. They don't want their children to be on a road uh, straight into to a gang, which is going to uh, lead to drugs, alcoholism, and it's going to lead to prison. And, and and now they become a menace to their community. And so the reason why they become a menace to their community is the most important thing that we all need. It's not about going to college. Everybody don't have to go to college. It's education. In these communities, the Democrats have control for 50 to 60, 60 years, and they have failed these families. They have failed these families. And so we're going to talk about this this morning, the first half. That's what we're going to get into because Mr. Trump made a uh, he made a commitment and he and he spoke to all the people that was behind behind him and let him let them know that you failed all these people in these communities. Now, it's other people that's done well, uh, but there's been a lot of factories that closed. I'm proud to say that uh, here in Michigan, you know, we heard General Motors uh, announced that they were going to invest another billion dollars here in factories. I think it's one up in uh, up in Grand Rapids. And so uh, we're going to these are some things that we're going to talk about. The second half, we're going to get into um, some of the promises that uh, Mr. Trump made so that President we can look Trump. present. And I apologize. President Trump made. And we're going to look at some of the things that uh, he's going to do. Um, within the first couple of weeks here that he's going to sign that's going to jump this jump start this economy it, all you have to do is just sign some things to remove government and you can get this economy started so i want to just say go ahead and say good morning to the mayor good morning mayor good morning dell nice to be here i haven't been here for a while you haven't yeah. you haven't and so yesterday was a big day it was a wonderful day in washington dc <laughs> certainly took it on the swampy chin mm -hmm. i'll tell you right from the start yes. and you know what i really liked about the speech was that yes. president trump gave the glory and the credit to yes, the sir. people yes, sir. but then that leads the to the question that I have, which people are going to step up to the plate and take this commitment to lead this country? Because we know that there's anarchists in the street. Is that yes. the people? Yes. Is it the people who, there's a quarter of the people who really just want to be left alone. They mm -hmm. don't care about politics. Right. They just want to be left alone to live their lives in peace and comfort. And, and then there's the swamp monsters in Washington, D.C. They're also the people. Are those the people who mm -hmm. are going to be designing this uh, power or you know taking advantage of this power that he claims to be giving back to the people That's right. or is it going to be the quarter of the people in this country who are politically savvy who understand constitutional government and who have the power to go to their local uh, uh, power structures, if you will, because federalism is very important. And, and in fact, that was one thing that I would like to have seen President Trump talk about is not what he can do for groups of people, but what can he do to establish constitutional law in this country? So maybe it's up to we, the people who are politically involved and interested, to start going to our local representatives, our local public servants, if you will, and teach them about the Constitution, teach them about the proper purpose of the law, and that is to protect the people and their God-given rights. Amen. Amen. Well, good morning, Phil. Well, good morning. All right. Yesterday was a big day. Big day. Huge day. <laughs> and uh, a great, great day because the future is bright. Yes. I mean, we the horizon is unlimited. Yes. I mean, we can see forever. You yes. know, this is truly a day. They, they, uh, Paul Anker should have brought that into the to the uh, 
a song list last night. I can see forever. Yes. You know. Yes. Now, uh, the uh, last night, I had the, the, the distinct honor of going over to the 12th District uh, inaugural ball. Uh, they were, you know, they watched yeah. the Oh, yeah, inaugural, inaugural ball dinner night. and celebration, yes. And, man, it was yeah, I loved it. Okay. I, you know, I got in there, Good and I, I got a picture with Yo, really? uh, uh, a gentleman named Pete uh, Podowski. Uh huh. Pete Podowski. Okay. Uh, he's a a Trump imitator. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> 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 and uh, you know, it, he he did a very effective job. You know, and uh, but the the whole idea that the uh, the twelfth district had a very good celebration. You know, mm -hmm. they they had a pretty good crowd. But that's the kind of thing that we need. We mm -hmm. need people to continue yes. to, to, uh, to, to meet and to see whether how the progress is going and continually grade the participants, not just sit back and okay. wait for somebody to lead us. We've, we're through with that. Yes. We led the way in electing Trump. That's right. And we need to lead the way to make sure that the Congress gets on board and does the things that is on his agenda. If you remember, mm -hmm. they continually told us that this Obamacare was Obama's signature legislation. That's right. And, I mean, they are, were rooting for it more so than anybody, the news media and, and, and uh, people that, that should have been taking a neutral position to try if we were going to have something as, as uh, uh, terrible as uh, Obamacare, that at least we got all the options and made it as good as it could possibly be. We got eight years to prove this is the worst legislation that's come along in a long time. And so the problem is, is that nobody read that bill. We've mm -hmm. got 2,000 pages of a bill, and then we've got 10,000 pages of regulation. Yeah. We have got to somehow yes. take hold of our government and tell them that they cannot pass a piece of legislation into law mm -hmm. unless they can read it. Well, I can, I can uh, give you an example of how we can, we can do that. We should make that an agenda. For every group, such as the 12th district, yep, yep, and every last one of them should should say to 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 the people that we do not sign any bills that are uh, that are not read and are not approved right by the constituents. We've got the the model for it, uh, and we don't use it. The Constitution, the Constitution. says that we are. A, uh, 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 a republic, well, Republican not form a of government. That's, That's right. right. And yeah. that, and you see that the Democrats keep talking about. Keep well, we that. we won the, the the popular vote. That's right. It yeah. doesn't mean anything. Matter of fact, yeah. I he, I even heard one of them snowflakes at a uh, at a rally, and he said that uh, it was because of the uh, the electoral college that somebody like Trump, and it was supposed to protect us from somebody like Trump. No, it was for, supposed to protect us. From somebody like Hillary, <laughs> yes, exactly. who think that she can go to two states and yes. automatically become, and president, become president. Yeah. president, and not go to all your smaller states that yeah. also get their representation. Right. You and know, the gentleman that introduced yeah. Donald yes. Trump, the mm -hmm. President Trump. Boy, yes, I, did, I slipped too. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that sounds good. Yeah. The person who introduced President Trump to give his inaugural speech called this a democracy, yes, yes. and of course that just rankles, oh, just yeah. rankles I, my. I'm, hunches or whatever you no, no, say I'm that saying you. Uh, it, it because yes. you know what you know what the bottom line oh, when you get offensive. down to the level for me it really it's offensive when you it, use that when you get down to the level of the people who don't really care about politics mm -hmm. if yeah. all they hear is the word democracy yes, democracy right. democracy right. it ties into the democrat party uh -huh. we all know how they yes. use words and yes. how they manipulate words change words to mean something different every single time someone says democracy they could just as easily say republicanism yes republicanism exactly right. republicanism exactly and right. then i mean i'm not a great fan of what the republican party has done but i think it's the only vehicle we have we the people have to yeah. correct the problems that we have in this country so let's start with a little action of replacing the word 
democracy with republicanism. And or the, it don't and even have to be republican. Yeah. Just, it could just say they could just say constitutional government. Yeah, well, that do that. Too. they could go do back that. to but, our constitutional but you see, form of but government. But you see, the thing is, is the people yeah. who don't really follow yeah. politics, if they keep you. hearing de democracy, well, they vote Democrat. That, and that was started by Franklin Roosevelt. That's yeah. right. But, and, uh, but the, the thing is that re it, the Constitution says that uh, the American people are guaranteed Republican form of That's government. That's right. So let's form. keep so, saying yeah, Republican, sure. Republican, Republican, well, Republican. Well, guess what? Liberals think the same thing that you think. When, right. when they hear Democrat, Democratic form yeah, of democracy. government, <laughs> democracy, well, yeah. that's Democrat That's party. exactly well, right. liberals see that if we say a Republican form of government, they, they, they say, well, people are going to point to the Republican party. And that's too. the truth of it. And you know what? Yeah. I don't care what the liberals I say anymore. Do. I've had enough of them. Yes. Oh, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm yeah. with you. And yeah. so that's why you, you hear this from them more than uh, than we hear from but, well, but we got people on our the, side the, that use the it, practicality but, of yeah. it is that they have turned this uh, last election with Hillary winning the popular vote mm -hmm. they had never explained what the the, the uh, Constitution actually says about that the gut the, the uh, the founding fathers were absolutely against democracy a dem uh, a That's democracy right. form of government they were they wanted republicanism and 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 so the uh the electoral college is is based on a one Republican form uh, of uh, uh, you know uh, what uh, each each uh, state be being represented that's by right. us. so so that's why i say that the what, the best way to do this is to start right at people like the 12th yep. you know all of these groups and 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 tell them that we no longer want to hear about the, the uh, uh, this democracy nonsense right. and and ex make them explain why the founding fathers wanted a electoral college instead of direct democracy exactly in the movement. and and most people don't understand it especially these young people they don't they are out there telling you that Hillary should have won the election and, look and, and let me make a point if if we are a democracy and they and we can and you can get elected by popular vote well, then all the states have to be wiped out yeah. all the states yeah. so this the, 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 there's no united states anymore no. that's right yeah. well that's exactly there's what this, they want there's just america it, the federal and, leviathan and, and so there is no states it's the union and that's of what, socialist the, there it is. republic <laughs> and so and that's why and, and i noticed that people haven't explained yeah. this to young yeah. people that's because right. they, they don't have, know absolutely you're going to take know. you're going to erase the lines of every state arizona michigan yeah. illinois all those states are are, are that you erased them all. There's yeah. no United States of America. Just become America. Mm -hmm. And so now you can. It, 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 somebody ran on a a, a ran as president, uh, and you did it on a popular, uh, you know, on uh, trying to win the popular amount of people. Yeah. Then you would run a different campaign. Yep. Mr. Trump, President Trump ran based on the Electoral College. Exactly right. Hillary ran based on I can win California and New York and some of these other big and states. And use Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin as a buffer. That's right. Yeah. To uh to to keep Trump from getting to yeah. 272. And he won Michigan. First thing they yeah. do is try to intimidate. Yeah. Michigan. That's why they kept saying Trump, to intimidate Trump us. doesn't have a path to 272. You remember that? They yeah. 270, yeah. yeah. They yeah. kept saying he doesn't have a path. Well, they thought that, like I said, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Wisconsin, yeah. and Michigan was the buffer to keep Trump from. So Hillary didn't hardly even come to oh, Michigan. No. No. And you notice uh, Dr. Stein's effort to recount the vote was yeah. stopped on a dime right. as soon as they found out that the people in Detroit were, were committing <laughs> election fraud. Right. And you don't hear anything about yeah. that anymore. Yeah. These people are insidious. Yes, they and, are. And, and, they, and we have to keep on a path of showing what we want, what yeah. we, the yeah. one quarter of the people who are hardworking, constitutionally literate, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and vocal. Yeah, and that's exactly why these 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 uh, districts have to continue to put the pressure on to, you know, the whole the the legislators and Donald Trump to 
His word. Well, right. We have to put the pressure on the local representatives who then have to put the pressure on the federal re uh, legislators who yes. then have to put the pressure on Donald Trump. But you That's know what right. the problem is? I think the intellectual ability of the people that we have placed into high office mm -hmm. is is limited. I think I think it's it's less than what we should have. We should have more intellectually sound people in our higher offices. We yeah. really should. Well, well once they attain off uh, of the uh, Senate, I mean, look at look at the, the garbage. That They're entrenched. Is, yeah, and, and, and uh, this is one of the things in Trump's uh, uh, contract with America. He, he wants term limits. Right. And guess who's against it? Mitch McConnell. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the barnacle that's been there for a yeah. billion years. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, here, let's go. We got, let's get back to the agenda for a few minutes, yeah. and then we're going to get to uh, to some calls. And then, like I said, on the other side of the break, we'll go into a little bit uh, of some of the things that he liked to do. Uh, we're talking about just deregulation, deregulating some of the laws. That's all we need to do. It's not that he's gonna, we need to create new laws. We just need to sign some things, remove that. Uh, and one of the things, well, here, I talk about that on the other side, but here, I want to just say, let's, uh, Derek, if you don't mind, this is Mr. Uh, President Trump last night at the inaugural, uh, his inauguration, uh, his speech, and some, this is one of the things that he said, and, and so I see that he has a real passion, uh, and for people that's in these, and it's not, it, and when you hear this show open up, we don't say, we say, that this is America is red, white, and blue. That's what America is. It's red, white, and blue. And that's what he spoke to. The people in those, in some of these broken cities where factories have left, he talking about bringing back these factors. Well, how you bring them back? All you have to do is deregulate some of this climate, climate change stuff. And, and so now you can bring them back. See, the factors are still there. They may not be here in America, but they just go across the water. They still open. They still make the same kind of stuff that we were making here. And we can do it. We can do it more efficient, and we can uh, build something or, or products, make these products the best in the world. So I want to go ahead and just touch a little bit on what he said last night, and then we're going to go into a few, few articles. Then on the other side of the break, we're going to go to some of the things that he wants to uh, some of the laws that he wanted, he wanted, he wanted just, he wanted to eradicate, throw them off the books, uh, and then so that we can move forward. So, if Derek, if you don't mind playing soundbite number four for me, please. At the center of this movement is a crucial conviction that a nation exists to serve its citizens. Americans want great schools for their children, safe neighborhoods for their families, and good jobs for themselves. All right, thank These you. These oh, are just and reasonable demands of righteous people and a righteous public. But for too many of our citizens, a different reality exists. Mothers and children trapped in poverty in our inner cities, rusted out factories scattered like tombstones across the landscape of our nation. An education system flush with cash, but which leaves our young and beautiful students deprived of all knowledge. And the crime, and the gangs, and the drugs that have stolen too many lives and robbed our country of so much unrealized potential. This American carnage stops right here and stops right now yay all right thank you very much I, and, and i agree right there and so um uh now because we we heard and what are you talking about is the inner cities and they are they're, they're hurting bad they're, they're broken bad the school systems are broken broken bad and like you said these these places are they they have bukus of cash bukus of cash uh, but the cash is not going towards uh, helping these students or, admit, or, or or giving them a better education or 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 refurbishing the books, giving them better books and and material. No, that, that this money is going into it, it going into other areas. It's going into it's, but it's not going to helping these students out at all. And then second, 
Wow, that, that's the first. Okay, well, Ooh. hold on. Our calls, uh, if you'd like to join the conversation, give us a call at 734-822-1600. We'll see you on the other side of the break. Listening to the Abolitionist Roundtable, patriotic, red, white, and blue, conservative all-access radio, with your hosts Dell, Phil, and Janice. They're leading the charge in advancing the conservative revolution. Join the conversation at 734-822-1600. Milk, and this is logically speaking uncensored. Celebrate reclaiming the land of the free home of the brave. Under the dictatorship of the Democrat Party, President Ali Obama for eight years maneuvered the nation toward the plantation of political fascism. And for eight years, the Democrat Party incarcerated the nation and remanded legal American patriots to solidary confinement to await Hillary Clinton, their coordinated candidate for president, fulfill their mandates of collectivistic indoctrination and ideological programming. With self-conceited confidence, the Democrat Party had no backup plans in the event Hillary lost the election because they believed she was the unbeatable communistic socialist who would lead the national coup d'etat they had envisioned since their inception in 1827. And her victory would allow them to avenge their Civil War defeat and resurrect their dominance as national slave masters. Black people would be compelled to remain plantation servants through the bondage of welfare entitlements and the culture of victimization dependency. And their aggregated opposition would become their subservient indentured servants, shackled to administrative largesse, government edicts, and debilitating intimidations. With demonic political machinations and the collaborative collusions of a seditionist media and academic overseers, the Democrat Party had managed to convince Americans to reject the melting pot concept as a unifying factor. And with political correct fear-mongering, they persuaded a plurality of Americans to dismiss the laudatory phrase, land of the free, home of the brave, as they endeavored to transform the nation into the land of the enslaved, home of the free. On November 8, 2016, a courageous alpha male named Donald J. Trump proved that American bravery was not dead as he fearlessly dedicated himself to reclaiming the United States as the land of the free, home of the brave. Where the national anthem could be sung with pride, the American flag would be honored, not desecrated, and the Pledge of Allegiance would be revered, not mocked. And the Constitution and the foundation of Christianity, which the nation was built on, would not be removed. Friday, January 20th, 2017, was a day of unprecedented joy as millions of legal Americans celebrated the patriotic bravery of Trump who triumphed over the vicious assaults of Democrat Party icon Hillary and hate America first anarchists. And to Democrats who hatefully refused to attend Trump's inauguration, I say thanks for sparing the nation the presence of your toxic incivilities. You were not missed as we the people in unity with the 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump, Celebrated reclaiming the land of the free, home of the people. I am milk, logically speaking, uncensored saying, think about it and celebrate. All right. 
All right. Oh, celebrate. <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> celebrate. Woo-hoo. You know what it is. We Let's celebrate. Yeah. Come on. Let's and glue a little bit. And, yeah, yeah, we can celebrate. <laughs> Absolutely, we can celebrate. Uh, it's something to celebrate about. Uh, and, and so... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Milt, for sending that down, saying let's celebrate. We yeah. can celebrate. I know this is serious. I know that we're still going to have that. We're going to have to still fight. I know that, um, uh, Mr. Uh, you know, this uh, more than 60 Democrat lawmakers skipped the uh, the inauguration. Uh, like uh, I heard, you know, somebody say that uh, that that this is the, that Democrats are so angry. They have never been as angry as they are right now since the uh, since Lincoln freed the slaves. But, but I looked up that right there, and Lincoln hadn't freed the slaves yet. And when Lincoln his first inauguration, uh, every Southern Democrat uh, did not participate. Every Southern Democrat did not participate in his inauguration. Well, once uh, he was elected and they went through uh, this civil war and they created all these laws now. Just think about the, all these laws. They, right away, he didn't give, um, uh, you know, the, uh, American blacks, he didn't give them uh, civil rights. They amended the Constitution and gave them the 13th, 14th, exactly 15th right. Amendment. Exactly right. Uh, and his second inauguration, not just the Southern Democrats, but the Northern Democrats now also uh, did not participate <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in his inauguration. So I had to go back and look at that. I, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And so, yeah, this is not a big deal. At all. Who care? Th- these people need to, they should have been there because, it, like we just heard, Mr. Trump, he spoke directly to them uh, because they're the ones that, 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 that hold their people hostage in these areas. Yeah, these are the ones that created laws. That created laws that have imprisoned all those kids. They want to reform uh, the the uh, the uh, the criminal justice system. Well, they want to reform it because they the ones that created it. They the ones that created. It. They the ones that incarcerated all these kids in all these urban areas. Uh, then we had some fool named uh, Snoop Dogg. He calling people. He calling you some kind of uncle if you any uh, uh, people that performed at Donald Trump's inauguration. He said that he's going to be after you. You know, he's going to he's going to vilify you. Didn't this this right here? This is a drug dealer. This is a this is a guy that's always on drugs all the time. He used to be Mr. Uh, President Trump's. Uh, he used to correspond with him. He used to invite him over his house for a smoke out, even though Mr. Trump like I'm not President Trump is not going to participate in that. But uh, the reason I mention this right here again, I want to go back to Harriet Tuckman's. I quote, she said, I freed a thousand slaves. Do you know it's people that's enslaved in these neighborhoods, that's enslaved to bad schools, that's enslaved to, uh, to, to factories that's to, uh, closed in their neighborhoods. These people are enslaved to uh, where they, their children are on drugs and alcohol. They're enslaved to, to, uh, to gangs in their neighborhoods. These people need their, they need somebody to come in and rescue them too. I saw Mr. Trump's, his, his election, President, Trump. President Trump's election and, and uh, as, as a modern day, he's today, he's a modern day uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln, he's going in and trying to rescue these people. They don't want them to be rescued. You, you, the people that I'm talking about, these are all Democrats yeah. that's blocking him. They're no different than the Democrats that were in 1860 that did not attend Lincoln's inauguration. And four years later, they didn't, all of the South, uh, in the South and the North, did not attend his inauguration. And these people are standing in the way from these people of, of becoming free. Not only are they standing in the way of them not becoming free, they're standing in the way of all of us. All of us want, to, want these, all these laws, all these regulations to go away so that we can all be free to to go after our own God-given potential. Yep. And so, and here, we're going to get a few calls in. Oh, I forgot to mention again, if you'd like to uh, send us an email, send us an email at art at whamradio.com. Again, send us an email. I, I, uh, you know, when I start, when I sent out this um, this request that if you don't want to call in, some people, they they... 
uh, say, well, I, I don't do well on the radio. Well, you can send us an email. We'll read it on air, and then we'll talk about it. Again, this is our fundraising month. Uh, we're celebrating seven years here on Wham Talk 1600. If you don't mind going to our website, artofmichigan.com, artofmichigan.com. If you don't mind, whatever your commitment is, make a monthly uh, uh, commitment to, to stand with the Abolitionist Roundtable. Or if you'd like to mail us, a uh, whatever your gift is, uh, you can mail it to Art of Michigan, P.O. Box 135, Garden City, Michigan, 48135. All right, so let's get to some of the calls, and then we got to, we still got some things that we want to go through because we're going to talk a little bit about how we can get this this economy jumping again. We can get Americans. Uh, 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 going after whatever their God, uh, whatever their gift is, whatever their dream is, they can go after it because now we can we removed all these burdens that's been in their way. We can get this economy moving over four percent. We can get people uh, again. You know, one thing about Americans, um, uh, it, it's not that when you suppress America from our potential. America is the there's a country that gives more than any other country on the planet. Any other, I'm talking about um, not just taxpayer money. I'm talking about Americans going in their own pocket, and 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 giving to people, and so and there's there's countries all around the world that put that that were very gracious and very thankful for Americans helping them. For you know, coming to their rescue in disasters and other things, you know, our Christian ministries all around the United States have went in and helped people all across the world. You don't see Islam doing anything like that. What they do is they go in there with a with a vest on and tell you either you're gonna submit or we're gonna blow you up. All right, so let's get to. Uh oh, I don't. Uh, let's go back. Let's go. What? Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got Bruce from Gross Point. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, folks. Great, great program. Thank uh, you, great Bruce. day. The sun looks like it's going to be coming out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. It great? is a, a great well, day. Well, that's, that, that's certainly symbolic, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, first of all, I just want to mention that uh, next next Saturday, uh, January 28th, Ben Armstrong from WDTK, the Ben Armstrong Show, will be at our Tri-County Liberty Coalition. Nice. I like at, being. Uh, at 1812 East 12 Mile in Royal Oak at the corner of Main Street. So National Coney Island, uh, come on out, have a nice breakfast, and uh, sit back, listen to some great commentary. You know, Ben was one of the few guys who was predicting that Trump would win, and would win convincingly. Yes. Yeah, so that, right. that's really a great thing to do. Also, uh, some of the reaction to Trump's speech, especially Rachel Maddow, did you see some of the comments that she made about that? Oh, boy, it was horrible. But, but, and, yes. You know, uh, code for Nazism and all yeah. this sort of thing. Well, would you, you, know, they, guys, you would expect would something not, like I that from her. I would not hire this woman to do yeah. the traffic reports no. on a podo. No. <laughs> but th but that's her That's her nature. She, you know what? She's a Keith Overman in a dress. Oh, yeah. And he was Overman nasty. Too. Oh, man. Overman was nuts. nasty. Yeah, they might re like resuscitate him now that uh, we have uh, some. We have a non-Democrat in the uh, in the office right now. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, God bless America. God bless Donald Trump. Did you hear how many times he referred to to, to God? That's yeah, right. That's I think right. I heard an inaugural speech that mentioned uh, the Creator in, in, in such uh, you know, such voluminous terms. It's oh my amazing. goodness! No, liberals don't. They don't want anything to do with him. You know, because uh -huh. if they minimize him, then they become people's God, and that's what they that's what their mission is. Is to well, replace want, God with with the Democrat Party. Well, I want to I wanted to say God bless you guys Thank too. You. Every single one Thank of you. you. Phil, Dell, Janice, you guys have done a tremendous job over the last seven years. I can't believe it's been that long. Oh, it's like yesterday I we heard you guys for the first time. I can't, I can't believe, believe we uh, is is eight years of Obama. <laughs> <laughs> and it's over with. Yeah, Can you believe that carnage is over yeah. with? Okay, well, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, knock them dead out there and uh, keep up the great work. God bless you all three of you. All right, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Bruce. Love you guys. I'm going to let Genesis, uh, we just got a, uh, a comment. Did you, can you tell us what the, uh, we got an email, Mayor? Yeah, the email says it's entitled Your Show Saturday Morning. I really enjoy your program. You stand out as very rational in the People's Republic of Ann Arbor. Keep up the great work. Ooh, That's amen. not nice. Thank you amen. so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you, Mayor. All right, so here we, let's go to some more calls. We have uh, Gary. 
from Hazel Park. All right, Gary, it's a great day in America. Good morning, Gary. Oh, it, it, good morning, Janice. It's a beautiful day in America. I haven't been this happy since I got married some 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you, uh, you you feel the same way about America again that you feel about your, uh, your marriage and your wife. Yep. So God bless. You, you bet. And, uh, you know, that clip you pay, played of uh, President uh, Trump, um, See, Washington wouldn't be in such bad shape if they'd spent their time taking care of those issues instead of worrying about gender equality and global warming and all these other non-issues, these things that are none of their business and none of their preview. All those things are local, their family, their, their church. They've got nothing to do with the state. And if they just minded their business and taken care of the problems that we have, they'd be okay. But that's not obviously what they wanted to do. They, they wanted to keep everybody on their little plantation and confuse the hell out of the kids so nobody knew which way to turn so they could control them. That's right. You know, did you see that um, the Trump administration has changed the White House website oh, in a yeah, number yeah, of yeah, significant yeah. ways? <laughs> that was beautiful. I mean, the, the shackles of suppression of, the, of big government are being thrown off every minute now. Little bit by little bit, yep. Even Rance Priebus has already uh, frozen all regulations. They, they're just frozen. No more government revel, revel, regulations as of last night. Yeah. It's, it's just beautiful. That's it's true. Beautiful. Matter of fact, you said one of the, uh, I, I, I got a list of about 10 things that he want to do right away, 10 things he want to do right away. We're going to go over some. One of them is freeze all hiring of federal um, uh, and government to reduce the payroll also. Uh, our military, you want to work on our military, public service, and health agencies. Uh, um, and then one of the things, he, we're getting out of that North uh, American uh, Free Trade Agreement with, the, with, the, with Canada. So he want to renegotiate that. I think that's a good effort. That's something that he want to withdraw from the, the Trans-Pacific Partnership right away. You know, that's a bad deal. He know how to negotiate a better deal. And uh, one of the other things that he want to do is uh, he want to lift restrictions. We all can celebrate this, re lift restrictions on coal and drilling on, of oil and natural gas. So right hallelujah. there, hallelujah, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah, because that will get right there. Just, just removing the, those restrictions right away, you just created tens of thousands of, of, of jobs. So when you create jobs in those areas, now you need houses. Now you need uh, people need carpet for their houses. Now people need furniture. They go to the restaurants on, on their break. And so now there's going to be a boom just because he removed those regulations in those areas yeah. where they drill at, uh, Phil, and yeah. natural gas and coal. Yeah. The coal mining is big. Those, yeah. This is big, big, real big. And uh, and some of those uh, those neighborhoods, those areas where they do the coal mine. What's one of the coal mining states? West Virginia. West Virginia. Pennsylvania. Ohio. Yeah. And so uh, yeah. So these uh, and and that's one of the one of the things that he took off his website. As uh, the mayor mentioned, a number of things he took off, uh, but he took off his website. Global warming, get out of here. Right. So if, yeah. if if he removed global warming, now we can drill. But instead, we got uh, guys like uh, what's his name, the the guy that's uh, that that's always in character, uh, Michael Mr. Moore? Michael Moore. He was out there trying to come up with something called a hundred days of resistance. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that they're talking about, these groups are talking about, keep the oil in the ground, fool. Did you drive there? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you they drove there or came on a bus. Yeah. I bet you Michael Moore flew in yeah. uh, with his private jet, had a limousine pull him in the back. He put on his dirty jeans and that old ugly hat so that he can look just like everybody else. He's in character. Yeah. He's always in mm. character. That's a care. He's in the midst of, he's shaping people so that he can create another documentary. To manipulate them. This is another document. He's just going to come up with something called 100 Days of Resistance. Yeah. And so this is how he built his wealth, manipulating these young people. Yeah. Mayor, you is know that what right? I, yeah, he, you're Thanks, absolutely Gary. right. But you, and you know, in the big picture, what I really loved about the inauguration yeah. was all the all the American flags, yeah. all the red, white, and blue. Yes. Gone is that yellow curtain, uh -huh. 
and those stupid other flags that Obama always had around him. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that yellow curtain signified, but if you go back and look at all of Obama's speeches, you'll mm -hmm. see the color yellow. Mm -hmm. Red, white, and blue is the color of this country, That's right. and those colors don't run. No. That's right. There Absolutely. Well, it, it, we well we know if it, if he had something back there it was it it, sign, it was something to signify or announce something or it was telling somebody somebody something, something. It, you know because it's always some kind of manipulation. Well, that, that's yeah. what they accuse uh, conservatives of mm -hmm. uh, the dog whistle. You know, uh, you know they make <laughs> everything. Uh, another alternative, uh, uh, yeah, you know, motive for issue it, and know? motive yeah. and conspiracy yeah. and. Uh, but they are actually doing it. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. exactly right, and that's oh. that's your curly effect. Yeah, exactly. That yeah. Is. Exactly. Okay. One of the other things he wanted to do is he wanted to remove any Obama air roadblocks from energy projects, uh, such as uh, the Keystone Pipeline. Yeah, so which, the Keystone Pipeline yeah. there. I don't have an opinion about yeah. that. I've heard pros and cons to it, mm -hmm. but I'm all for energy exploration for sure. Because if we have as much oil as they say, as the scientists say we do mm -hmm. here in America, then we then we loosen our grip or, or or the grip that these Middle Eastern countries have on us. And I'll tell you what: if we don't drill for our own oil, these people that are coming into our country are going to do it. And 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 let's not forget Russia. Russia has a very this is. What they keep telling us, that Russia interfered in our uh, election, they're interfering in our commerce. They're interfering in our commerce. They're keeping is uh, uh, Europe under the thumb of the so old Soviet Union. Okay. Because Europe doesn't have the resources right. that uh, Russia has. Right, and we could help Europe. That's right. And I like the way Donald Trump says that he wants friendship and goodwill toward all nations. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, we don't want war. Yeah. We don't want animosity. Now, we can, I don't mind uh, Russia competing with us. Exactly. But don't try to distort the markets. That's exactly. what Trump is all about. Yeah, and that's what regulations do. Yeah. They distort the markets. Yeah. And, and like you say, Dell, as soon as he starts using his eraser instead that's of right. Obama's pen right. and phone, yeah. well, I, I, like, I like Trump's Twitter account and yeah. eraser, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, which I think is really good because that will set up the stage for the creation of jobs. Mm -hmm. We've got to unleash this potential that Donald Trump, or that President Trump, uh -huh. seems to have tapped into. Uh -huh. He seems to understand that individually we have such great potential. Well, you know what? Obama knew about it, but his agenda for the first 100 days, it, it, it uh, was all government programs, all government regulations. Right. Trump, is, 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 his agenda is to eliminate those regulations, eliminate some of the government. One of the things he said he wants to do in his contract with America is to cut the size of government, okay. actually cut employees, make them retire. Well, you know, Bruce they don't was, hire no more. And Bruce was absolutely correct when he said this was so refreshing to hear President Trump use the word God, right. yeah, because right. it's God that we want yeah. to establish the rule of law that's in right. our country, Think not the it. state. Yeah. We want God in charge, not the government What was one of the first things that Obama said when he got in? Mm -hmm. America is no longer a Christian nation. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's right. That was the, one of the first things, downsomers he made yeah. from the, the official podium yeah. of, the, of the president, mm -hmm. that America was no longer a Christian nation. And I wish Trump had said America is and always will be a Christian nation. Yeah. And, and um, that's one of the things that all of these people ought to be saying to him. Emphasize the fact that this is a Christian yeah, nation. Yeah, absolutely. We, yeah, we want to protect a Christian, a, a, a Judeo-Christian heritage. Uh, another thing that he want to do now, I like this right here: cancel U.S. payments to uh, to the U.N. climate change program and read it and redirect the money to U.S. Uh, water and environmental infrastructure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah. Let's get out to the UN. The yeah. UN is, it, it, yeah. uh, you know, uh, talking about for climate change. Yeah. We, we donate billions and billions of dollars to the UN, and and this uh, this and we know that this climate change is a hoax. It's a redistribution of our what? Wow! It's, it's a it's a, a play to get the uh, uh, the, uh, the the tax that they want. On it's, every product that we make, and it's taxing America. Yeah. It's the it's the UN taxing Americans. Yeah. 
and yeah. taking our will, volunteer, and we volunteer because we want to protect the planet. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, absolutely. So when, once he unle we remove this, you know, this uh, yeah, one of the round table. Well, the folks, we'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Continue the round table discussions by mailing correspondence to Art of Michigan, Post Office Box 135, Garden City, Michigan, 48135. Or follow Phil Dell and Janice at artofmichigan.com. You can also send emails to artofmichigan at hotmail.com. And most of all, continue to listen every Saturday and tell a friend.